Okay, next we're going to do the fins. So the thing about the fins are the bottom, just remember the bottom ones are going to have pink. So I'll demo a couple of the bottom ones. And then the tail and the top ones are more yellow, brown, green. So you've got three on top. You have a little one here. And then you've got the bottom ones, which are pink. You've got um, three. This one's showing on the other side. So let's get to it. And we'll get our tail in. So this is our beautiful fish. And here we go. I took, by the way, I took this and I dried it so it's nice and dry. And we'll, we'll embellish it as we go. So we just have to be patient. So let's try, we're going to do, I've got a number four so I have some control. I'm going to do the pink one first. I've got my lizard and crimson mixed with my um, yellow ochre. Oh, woo. well this one had a little bit of um, cerulean blue on the top of it which I'm going to show you. Cerulean blue and burnt umber, and I'm going to show you. This is cerulean blue and burnt umber. Watch what I'm going to do for this one. This is the front fin. Move in back. Okay, go about down to here. Now I'm going to take some alizarin crimson and, ultra, and yellow ochre, and I'm just going to put it on. And I'm just going to kind of let it run this is the only one that has a cerulean blue in it. Just run up here a little bit, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I've got some sap green mixed with a little bit of burn umber, but really watered down. And I'm just gonna kind of touch the edge of this. Sap green with a little bit of burn umber. And I'm just gonna touch the edge. And I'm gonna very lightly. That's just my dogs having a little asthma thing. Poor guy. Okay, that looks really pretty. I'm going to leave that one alone. Now I want to do the, I'm going to do a top one and I'm going to do the tail too. It's pretty easy. This was the cadmium yellow light or if you have lemon yellow, mix it with your burn umber and you can put a little sap green in it. And all I'm going to do for the tail is I'm just going to I've got my number four, so I have a little control. Put it on. Didn't have to, you can get it wet if you want to. It's a little bit bigger area. You don't have to. I'm just going to kind of pull it, al pull it along. It's really pretty. This is... There's your tail. So you're going to do this fin. Woo! This fin is going to be exactly how you do the tail. So you kind of get that in. Cad yellow light with a little bit of burnt umber and a little bit of yellow ochre. It's kind of a light. This is the undercolor. Then I'm going to take some of that, a little bit of the sap green mixed with the burnt, with the um, burnt umber, kind of watered down. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of pull up a little bit. Give my brush a get some of the excess water out of my brush and just kind of kind of gives it a variation so it's not just a solid kind of pull it on top because when this is nice and dry we'll put spots it's going to have spots and it's going to have um thin lines on it too that looks good I'm gonna, and if you want a a fuzzy thin line in there It's not going to really matter because it's going to be it's going to be covered up. And again, I can just kind of clean. I'll clean this up later. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do another one of these. This was so this one it does this one we put a little bit of the cerulean blue and burnt umber with it. And now this one I'm going to just take the alizarin crimson and yellow ochre. Let's kind of do this little back fin. Really easy. Do you see how I, so you don't get overwhelmed, I saved the fins because this was kind of stressful. Now you can just kind of take your time and do your little fins. So do that. And if you've got a lot of water in it and it's really soppy, just kind of give your brush a squeeze and just suck it up. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to take some of that sap green with a little bit of um, burnt umber. And I'm 
just going to kind of do this and let it do its thing. And then the pink kind of shows underneath. It looks good because, like I said, we're going to have... So on the bottom fins, you don't have um, speckles. But on the three top, the tail and these two, you will have speckles. And if this is dried fast enough, because I know you're going, okay, that tail is driving me crazy. When is she going to do it? I'm going to take the same tail color. I want it a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to do this. This is that where he's got it lipped. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the sap green and the burnt umber. And I'm just going to very lightly up in this corner just kind of do that. That just kind of separates it. And again, we're going to have dots on this. The spots are the last thing you do on these things, and they kind of make it come to life. That's why I like to do some of these trout. Okay, that looks great. Look at that. Let, and it, do you want me to do this one? Let's do this one. Remember, this was the cad light yellow. Or lemon yellow. Mix it with a little bit of burnt umber. Burnt umber has a lot, and maybe a titch of sap green. Burnt umber has a lot of green in it. That's why it goes well with mixing with green. Okay, got that light yellow in, and now let it sit first. And there's that one little thing right here. We kind of have a funny little fin right there. Okay, let it sit for a second. Remember we took the sap green, mix it with the burnt umber a little bit heavier, and let this sit for a sec. And then you can just Sometimes they can be a little darker on the top. On the, I'm just going to do that. Because remember, we're going to dry brush some stuff on top of this. Just kind of cool. It just shows that color underneath. That looks great. And then um, just have fun with it. You see how I, what I meant about doing the body and then these? Here's this other guy. This was that pink one. Oh. Whoops. Here's a pink one. Just get it pink. Remember, do a little of the loser and crimson yellow ochre mixed. Ooh, I've got to hurry. And then I just flick some water somewhere. A little bit of that green. Just kind of line it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. See you in the next one.